Russia and China are stepping up joint military drills in Asia and the Pacific, and their moves are starting to alarm the Pentagon. On Sunday, Beijing and Moscow completed a massive air and naval exercise in the Sea of Japan, including anti-submarine missions, sea and air escort training, and combat games, according to Chinese state media. Leaders said the practice runs were focused on safeguarding the regime's the region's maritime transportation, and probably the regime's as well, possibly a mocking reference to language Biden administration has used to justify its own growing military presence in the South China Sea and Taiwan Strait. Last month, four Chinese H-6 bombers and two Russian Tu-95 bombers conducted joint patrols between Japan and South Korea and further south towards the Philippines and Guam all bases for American forces. The operation caused both Tokyo and Seoul to scramble fighters to defend their airspace and seemed to be a warning to the leaders of the Quad Nations, the U.S., Japan, Australia, and India, who were meeting in Tokyo that week. American defense officials have said they are now gauging whether the Chinese and Russian militaries will look to run these sort of exercises closer to U.S. territory. And there are also concerns that the Kremlin may be sharing battlefield data from its war in Ukraine, which involves military operations against U.S. and NATO defense systems with China. Quote, as it goes into the Pacific, they have amplified and increased their amount of joint training, joint exercises, and joint demonstrations. Admiral John Quino, commander of U.S. forces in the Indo-Pacific, said last week at the Aspen Security Forum, Quote, I only see the cooperation getting stronger. And boy, that's concerning. That's a dangerous world, he said. It's coming from Yahoo News. I'll leave the full link down below for you to take a look at. What are your thoughts and concerns? Leave them down below as well. And we'll talk to you soon at the next TNS report. See you then.